Hey guys, Vanessa here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be kind of a DIY type. Um, today's video, we are actually going to paint the mantle that's behind me to white. But today, I have a special guest with me. This is my nephew, Carter. So I'm going to let him introduce himself and then we'll go from there. My name is Carter. I like to play with my friend Oliver next door. And I like to play Assassin's Creed. And I like to play with Deadpool and Nate because I moved. <laughs> Good job. What we're going to do first, yes, I'm going to be painting my mantle with a broken arm or a broken wrist. Um, mm -hmm. I just had surgery a couple days ago. Um, before we get started, we're going to take off all the decorations and everything off of the shelf, and then we're going to tape it up so that we don't get paint on the surrounding area. So if you want to see how it turns out, then keep on watching. When I first started filming this video, it was about 9.20, 9.30 p.m. So that's why it's a little dark, and also why you'll see later in the video that I continued painting the following morning. I was just too tired, and Carter had to go to sleep since he had school in the morning as well. To dust off my mantle, I'm using the Caldrea countertop spray in rosewater driftwood and a microfiber cloth. I purchased almost all of my cleaning supplies online from Grove Collaborative. Grove Collaborative products like Method, Mrs. Myers, 7th Generation, and Bird's Bees are all 100% cruelty free and based on plant-based formulas. So if you're interested in purchasing from the Grove Collaborative website, I'll leave a link in the description box below. To tape off the areas, I'm just using some painter's tape that I purchased from Home Depot. At this point, the tape and I had a very big disagreement and I had so much trouble getting it to stick on the wall under the TV with just one hand. Paint I'm using on my mantle is the Waverly chalk paint in the color white with a matte finish. I got it from Walmart for about like seven or eight bucks. The paint brushes I'm using are also from Walmart and I purchased them in a pack of three for about ten dollars or so. So before I started painting, I didn't take out the hooks from underneath my mantle because I didn't think they would get in the way, but they ultimately did, so I just took them out by unscrewing them and then after I finished painting the mantle, I just put them back.
my husband and I bought this house about a year ago maybe a week or two after our youngest son Landon was born and we bought it as a foreclosure so there was a lot of little things around the house that needed to be redone and renovated and I personally wanted to paint this mantle myself and so I guess it took a little over a year for me to get to it but it's finally getting done and I can't wait for you guys to see how it turned out also please don't mind my hair I am basically crippled and I can't do my hair so my sister-in-law did my hair the night prior and I just slept on it and just got up out of bed and started painting Since I'm only working with one hand, painting under the TV was a little bit hard, but hey, I made it work and it came out looking just fine. I think the most tedious and tiring part about painting my mantle was this. I just wanted to lay down in my bed and go to sleep and just leave the mantle looking the way that it was. And obviously that's not what happened because I finished it and it looks amazing. After looking at the first coat, I knew that I would need a second and possibly a third and I ended up doing three coats total of the white paint and I ended up sealing it with a clear wax. made it this far into the video, leave a comment below sharing any home projects that you've done that you're proud of. Watching all of the dark spots disappear from the white paint is just so satisfying and it kind of makes me want to redo my mantle again. But then I think again and I have realized that that is a very bad idea. So once I finished with all of my three coats of white paint, I just went in with my clear wax from the same brand Waverly. Carter had just gotten home from school and I felt really, really bad because he wanted to help but I just wanted to get this finished because by the time my kids got home, painting this mantle would have been nearly impossible.
It's almost done, guys. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea how excited I am for you guys to see the final look. Here it is guys, the final look. I put all my decorations back and I think it looks amazing. I'm so proud of myself because I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I finally got it done. And it just brightens up my living room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I post new content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!